Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can use MDrummer to import some MIDI files or MIDI loops to add some you know, variations or to just expand the possibilities of MDrummer and also try to explain like why you might want to do that. So before we get started, I'll just show you quickly I'm using the vintage or sorry, modern vintage set. It sounds like this. Okay, gives you a basic idea. And so here in the rhythm editor, the easiest way to import MIDI is just drag and drop. You can go in here and take something like this and just drag it and drop it in. So if there's some extra space at the beginning, you may click this. If there's nothing, you don't have to. It doesn't really matter. I just like to leave it on. And you can merge it if you want to put two loops together. But here we go and just added it in. I kind of slowed it down. I thought it was a little bit too fast, but you get the idea. So this is it. It just loaded it in exactly as is, and that's perfect. So we could use that, but if you think I kind of want something more than that, there's a few other things we can do. Uh, there's a few other modes like smart import. And so this allows you to do the same thing. It just gives you a few more options. So it allows you to quantize things, uh, you can add some uh, other things like you can break this up into multiple loops like that one was two bars but i can break this up into one bar so bar count one so now it'll be uh one bar and then one bar so instead of one bar or say one loop of two bars it's going to be two loops of one bar and i can do other things uh most notably the apply midi input filters so m drummer uses uh midi gm so if you're not using that and you have like some other type of MIDI drums, you can use a MIDI filter and import it there and it will make sure everything is uh, correct using the correct drums and everything. So just click OK and you see here it added these two variations. And what I meant by the MIDI filter is if you go into menu here and input MIDI filter, you see here you can just click on one of these so if let's say you're snare drum is being played as like a triangle or something and you think okay that's actually uh let's say c or d3 you think okay d3 it's playing a triangle now but it should be a snare drum all i have to do is turn on these modifiers and click snare drum one and now it'll be rerouted and then of course i can just save that for later and then when i want to load it up i can load it here so that way next time you don't have to do the same thing again so hope i explained that very quickly and easily so that's one way to do it. Uh, besides a smart import, there's a batch MIDI import. So if you have a, lots of them in one folder, or lots of MIDI loops, you can load them all quickly and easily here, which is very helpful. So here I have a bunch of them. I'm going to put them all into beat, but in general, you don't want to do this. You don't want to have all of them together. You want to separate them out as like beats or uh, fills, etc. So let's say I want to put all these in beat like this. I just click on this whole folder and then I click OK. And it'll, if I want to use the if I want to use the MIDI input filter, I click that on. So click OK. And now you see it loaded a bunch of them. I have them here. One problem is not all of them are in 4-4, which is the problem with putting all of them together. So you have like these blanks. So this is like a 6-8. So that's one problem. Make sure they're all uh, similar and related and everything will work fine. Uh, and of course, you can clear them all here if you don't like that. Now, one interesting thing and uh, useful thing is you can take all these and once you have them like that, you can save them someplace else so that way you can use them again or let's say if i imported a lots of fills here and i put them in the break area all i have to do is save multiple loops and i could save them all in let's say breaks for uh, any category I, I wanted i could create a new category or i could save them here under like pop rock etc and that way they'll all be saved as let's say short breaks, and then I could use them again. So if I had something like Fusion 100, and I have these, and I think, ah, I like this beat. But for example, maybe I don't like those breaks. Those breaks aren't good. I want to use my own custom breaks, or maybe some other breaks from rock or something. All I have to do is go into here, use clear breaks, all gone, 
and then click load multiple loops. Now I go into whatever brakes I want, make sure I'm actually under brakes. And then I think, okay, let's say I wanted some pop rock light brakes. Make sure short brakes is highlighted here and click OK. Now you see under brakes, everything is loaded up correctly and I have lots of new brakes for whatever I want, which is really useful. Now, this is one really useful way, I think, to do this. That way you can mix, mix and match beats and different fills. But there's another way I think that's even more useful. So if I have just one MIDI loop I really like, but I think I can't make this into a whole song because I need some you know, light variations, I need some other cymbal variations, etc. An easy way to do that is using the rhythm generator. So I'm just gonna go into here. Let me erase all this stuff here. And I'll just take whatever one I have, let's say this classic seven here, import it. Now I don't need two bars, I'm just gonna save it as one here. Now I'll play it just quickly, let me turn it down. So that's good, but the problem is I have crash cymbals and hi-hats going at the same time. So it's gonna add cymbals and percussion you know, automatically, so I don't need the hi-hats. But all I have to do is just right click here, delete track, and everything's fine. So you can see by using those together, you can create all sorts of different patterns in the cymbals or percussion. So you can create different variations. And then if you click generate, it will automatically create, uh, let's say your uh, whole song. So I can generate not only the cymbals, but also fills and things too. Now, if I look in the rhythm editor, I have breaks, I have beats, I have intros, etc. So just from that one thing, I can create whatever I want. And if I want to make that even a little bit more interesting, I can use this and click one of these for the minimum level, like this, I'll move this up. So if you listen to the bass drum or maximum, you'll hear these being played, but then when I move the level down, they'll go away like this. And you can do that with any drum, just to add some variation and to make some differences and dynamics for different sections of your song. And that'll, of course, be translated to the rhythm editor later when you generate things. So I hope that gave you some ideas of how you can use some MIDI importing in MDrummer to create something new and interesting yourself. So if you like this, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments down below if you have any, and check out all the other plugins at MeldaProduction.com. Until next time, see you.